Sadly for those gentlemen watching on their own, single girl Lulu wasn't to be single for much longer. Appearing on the same show were the Bee Gees. Some people live within the world and some people live without it. I think I met Morris at Top of the Pops. It was so, oh, it was very exciting. And the Oh, it was cute as anything. Oh, that band was brilliant. Loved their songs and still do. We were totally electrified by each other. I fancied him like mad. She was a little on the chubby side and a little bit, you know, filled in the face, and I thought she was so cute. And she thought I was a big headed arrogant son of a gun to drive her home one night and uh, actually I didn't have a license but she could come with me because I was in the learners and I just got this Mini Cooper S with black windows and stuff <laughs> and I said I'd pick her up and we'd done to take her home and if I remember correctly she said I said to her do you want to be just good friends or what she said what and I said okay and that was it cut to the chase we got married <laughs> take a day off doing a TV series to get married. And of course, we, I get to the church and there's so many people outside the church I couldn't get in there. Say, you have to let me in, you know, I'm, I'm getting married, they're waiting inside. I was 19 years old and I think she just turned 20. And uh, it was, it was a, actually, it was the wedding of the year in England that time. I wore this white suit, this blue shirt and shit, you know. <laughs> she actually had a mink thing on her hood. I think I was imagining myself from Dr. Zhivago. I've always loved that movie. But I certainly wasn't Julie Christie. Um, and he certainly wasn't Omar Sharif. But, you know, we can have our fantasies. Lulu and Morris's honeymoon in Acapulco had to be put on hold so that Lulu could appear in the Eurovision Song Contest. Ah, <laughs> Eurovision. Yes, Madrid. A continuación, Inglaterra, representada por la canción Boom, Bang, Bang. Interprete... Lulu. That was the career move come to do closer, the Eurovision. Come and at the time, it seemed like a good idea. Well, right. And it probably was at the time. The Boom Banger Bang song was not a good song, by any means. Um, it was a typical throwaway type of song, which was typical Eurovision. And they were doing in those days a boom, da 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 boom da 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 It was like an umpa bar band of Europe. Your smile is so warm and inviting. And I was not moved to my soul. And I like to be moved to my soul when I sang. <laughs> So I kind of, the, the public chose it, and to be honest with you, you know, it sounds like I'm complaining and putting it down, but it was a certain type of song that I wouldn't choose to do again. But it hasn't done me that much harm, but I don't really want to sing it today, let's put it like that. <laughs> Esta es la canción del Reino Unido, Boom Bana Bang. Cantó Lulu, la esposa de uno de los componentes del célebre conjunto Los Bee Gees. When she won it, it was like, whoa, her career doubled. Lulu, satisfecha también y contentísima como Salomé por este primer premio. I mean, she was seen more and more places, especially in Europe. The Eurovision did that for her. Lulu and Morris returned victorious from Eurovision to begin married life. We finally found a little place out in Highgate to live, and uh, it wasn't really a homely marriage because Lou was very, very famous, you know, when I when I first met her. And so during the early years of our marriage, she was a lot more established than I was. There were some times when I was called Mr. Lulu and things like that. <laughs> well, that show business marriage pu public glare thing was something that I took for granted. I didn't know that was hard. I thought that was how it was. That was my life. I'd made my bed and lie in it. And... Um, so that might have been, and it was undoubtedly difficult to cope with. After four years of marriage in the public spotlight, the strain began to show, and Lulu and Morris separated. Walk me out in the morning, do my honey. 
because she was always working. She never stopped. Her her outlet is 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 all on the stage and and the music and and the business. That's her real focus in life. I think she could be married two more times, but I still think the business would be her first love. You know, because that's just the way Lou is. Maybe that relationship was just meant to last for a certain amount of time, and um, as a lot of relationships are meant to. I don't even think of it as a breakup. I think we just had to go our own ways. It was just one of those. See, when you're that young, you know, we were both young kids. It wasn't meant to be a long marriage, and I was disappointed, and so was he.